Forget your mop and bucket. It's time to use the power of steam. Having to clear up not only after the children, but now Mr Boots is causing quite a bit of grief. The steam mop's brilliant. You can't compare it to a mop and bucket because it's easy, no fuss. This is my playroom. This is where we are a lot of the day. There's three choices up here. We've got laminate, which we're on at the moment, natural flooring, and then tiles and liner. The steam burst function is good for spills in the kitchen. My daughters like baking at the moment, so there's always flour and milk that's congealed on the floor. We use the bath quite a lot to wash the dog. It's good to have this attachment so that you can just go round the bath just quickly and you know that it's going to kill any bacteria or anything the dog's dragged in the bath with him. Steam Mop's brilliant because it doesn't use any harmful chemicals, which is fantastic if you have children and pets. The Steam Mop has made my life much easier. The new Steam Mop range from Black & Decker. Rated by people like you. And welcome back to Littlewoods Live, which is more fun than you can have in the garden while still keeping your clothes on, which, let's face it, will just shock the neighbours. We are having a ball, aren't we, Carmel? Oh, yeah, it's great, great fun today. Or the caramel, as we like to call her, because, yes, that's what she tastes of. Um, and loads of people have been in touch, haven't they? they so just many amazing it. comments. We've had a lawnmower comment, Lawrence. Oh, uh, just you wait. From Angie. She said, what's the best uh, mower for my lawn as I'm struggling with mine as I am a mature lady? Now, Angie, there's nothing wrong with being a mature lady, but do I look like I know anything about lawnmowers? I mean, really. Actually, we have got a lawnmower-based treat just for you, Angie, my love, my darling, coming up a bit later. In fact, it's all getting terribly, terribly exciting here. But one of the things that always happens, of course, is you've got a garden full of children, all terribly overexcited, full of e-numbers, and then suddenly it starts raining, so you've got to then beckon them in to feed them. In fact, later on in part four, we will be dealing with the burning issue of what to do with children in the garden. And that's nothing to do with burning children in the garden, which would just be wrong. Um, but quite popular in the 17th century, weirdly. So here we are, we've got our children and we need to feed them and we're taking them into the kitchen and you are following us coming along too. Come on, come on. It's very exciting going into the house of come. This is uh, a wonderful opportunity to show you around a bit. You see, here's the hall. Lots of lovely beamings. It's all quite oldy worldy And then into the kitchen. Is this lovely? Is this really Wait, lovely? you see this, Lawrence. Oh, look. There is a party happening. We've got real children. <laughs> yes. I thought we'd just have stunt children. Hi, everybody. Say hello. Hello. Are you enjoying your party? Yeah. You've made a bit cake. of a mess, though, haven't you? Yeah. Actually, the sad thing is that they didn't make the mess at all. It was the crew. <laughs> and you can tell it's crew lunch because, look, it's sausages and cakes and things like that. And, you know, just, just, just so you don't have to imagine what it's like having a children's party in the rain. Look, we've got someone out here in a t-shirt doing the rain, 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 rain. See, see, it's not funny. They're laughing. It's not funny. The, the, bad, the, the slightly worrying thing was though, actually during rehearsals, he couldn't find the hose, but he still managed to get some kind of liquid on the window. Um, so here we are, we've got this crazy children's party going on. Um, and meanwhile, you're all being far too nice. Make a bit more mess, come on. Oh, that's a red rag to a ball. Um, and someone, for goodness sake, has created a bit of stainage. Actually, we've got a, uh, we've got a, a, a stain accredited stain operative who've done this for us. Um, but what we're going to do, and this is very exciting because we've got two solutions. We've got Caroline with a cloth. And we've got Karen with the techno solution. Now, um, Karen, you're, you've always got a, a lovely big garden, chickens, yeah. all that kind of thing. Have you got a lovely big kitchen too? It's, a, it's not as big as this kitchen, but it's a nice size kitchen. And how do you keep that clean? A steam mop. <gasps> She's cheating! Because by the look of you, you've never used a cloth before. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I meant you've obviously got loads of servants. <laughs> oh yes, I definitely have got children for that. What well, do you exactly. For? <laughs> they lick the floor clean, don't they? Um, but I mean, this is obviously a constant problem, is, uh, uh, um, you know, spills and things like that. Would you instinctively be going for the cloth, do you think? Uh, more than probably, actually, yeah. Ah. Well, this is going to be fascinating because... Now, um, uh, tell, us, tell us a bit more about this lovely bit of kit, Carmel. Well, I've got a steam mop. They are absolutely brilliant. You want to be outdoors drinking Pims on a day like this, not indoors cleaning. You we... drink Pims inside, outside well, and in your lady's thing. that is true, but it. particularly in the sun. But this is brilliant. I mean, you don't need any chemicals. 99.9% uh, percent, it kills all the germs. And you can use it on any floors at all in a matter of seconds. But I think we're going to be showing that. And well, how meanwhile, this, is. this needs no chemicals whatsoever. Yeah. 
And look at it. Isn't that, doesn't that look, just, just look terribly attractive? Um, but meanwhile, we've got Caroline, who is in, going to prove that actually sometimes the low-tech solution can work. Now, what I need from you lot, okay, is a big countdown. So we're going to count. Can you do from five to one, or is that a bit too complicated? Easy. Too oh. easy. All right, then, do it in Latin. <laughs> you know, if you're feeling that, that, that pleased with yourself. Um, and then we're going to see... Who cleans up their stain quick? I can't wait. Can you? It's just too exciting. So here we go. Five, four. What's next? Three. No, it's not. <laughs> Two, one. Go on, go! de-stain. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh, this is going well. <laughs> Can we borrow your cloth? <laughs> yeah. No, but you see, there it is. It's, 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 uh, what's the... nice is that um, uh, Karen's getting right into that crack. <laughs> What? Oh, what? Look, she groom. is. She's getting the seepage out. I'm going no further. Um, but meanwhile, meanwhile, I have to say that all Caroline's doing is rubbing it in. I'm the She's sterilising the ketchup no because it is the Black and Decker FSMH1621 steam up or 1621 to its mates. Uh, it's got an auto select, which means that you can do it on laminate, you can do it on tile, stone. Uh, you could probably even do it on velvet if you wanted to. Who knows? It's got a detachable water tank, which apparently keeps going for 25 yeah. of your lovely Earth minutes. Well, I think—I mean, I think it's relatively conclusive. Yes. This never happened on tomorrow's world. Are you happy? I am happy. I just yes. And meanwhile, Cinderella. <laughs> yeah. yeah, lovely. I guess the ball soon. To be fair, though. To be fair, though, um, I have to say that um, uh, Caroline has won the ruddy cheek competition <laughs> after all that effort. Um, so what are people saying about our steam, steam cleaner? The steam cleaner? No, uh, nothing about that yet. But uh, Nicola said, what is the best way to add colour and glam to a boring room without spending too much money? Tomato ketchup <laughs> and mustard on the floor. It looked amazing and they're really directional colours. Or failing that, if you're going to do another couple of quid, why not throw in some of my lovely, lovely cushions? Don't forget, everything is available on littlewoods.com. You can spread the cost. And don't forget to spread the love. Meanwhile, well done, you lot. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. Keep stuffing in those E numbers. But what happens if you have decided that you do not want to mow your lawn? Instead, you want to spend a lot of time drinking gin and tonic. Can't say that um, I'm ever in that situation myself, but there we are. I find a, a, a team of dedicated goats and a large bullwhip works very well. Now, we have got the gadget for you. We have got a gadget from Gadgetfordshire. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the robot lawnmower. <laughs> it's the Flymo robotic lawnmower 1200 and R. It's the wonder of the lawn mowing world. What happens apparently is that the, um, uh, the clippings are so fine, they just end up in the back there and then just keep getting recycled as part of the lawn so they become uh, organic. Concept. Look at all the dads lined up. You know, they're watching that like it's burlesque. They're, they're watching that lawnmower like it's Kelly Brook. I mean, it's attractive, boys, but it's a lawnmower. Do you know what I mean? Um, but it's, it's quite fascinating because basically it sticks into its own preordained route. So it keeps doing exactly what you want to do. You could actually, if you wanted to, um, uh, pre-program it to, to, to mow a large H in the middle of your helipad, if you want to, if you're the Prince of Wales, or possibly some slightly off-colour remarks for the neighbours. If your lawn wants a Brazilian, this is the thing to do. And the nice thing is that it actually takes itself off for a bit of a recharge if it's feeling a little bit, little bit on the, uh, uh, the floppy side. So what we're going to do, we've, we've, we've done a, a, a film just because we were slightly concerned it might not be working, who would have thought, but look, it's working absolutely perfectly. So enjoy this fly -mo moment while I go over here. I don't know how long it is, but it's quite thick. The Flymo Robotic Lawn Mower 1200R operates completely on its own and mows the lawn independently. When required, it automatically returns to the charging station. A boundary wire defines the lawn area to be mowed. Simply set the desired program and a sensor in the robotic lawn mower ensures that it remains within this area. It works by mowing the grass in a random pattern. Daily mowing and mulching guarantee a perfect lawn without the need to dispose of the grass clippings. 
As the robotic lawnmower has a collision sensor, some obstacles do not require a boundary wire. The Flymo 1200R tackles inclines of up to 25% and also mows during rain. So you can enjoy the perfect lawn with your Flymo Robotic Lawnmower 1200R, the really relaxed way of lawn care. Look at that. There we are, look at that. Um, I, a marvellous bit of kit. The only thing that worried me slightly was the couple sitting on the uh, terrace there with a glass of wine each but no bottle. Who goes out into the garden but doesn't take the bottle with them? They're obviously not very friendly people. I, meanwhile, have got a real gin and tonic, which is very nice. Eh? I'm going to just come amongst you lot because let's talk to some of the, the gentlemen here. Danny, did you like the mower? Absolutely brilliant. I want one. You weren't concentrating, I want one. No, no, I want one. Looks great. You were great. back on the sofa flirting. It's a great toy. But Ollie, I can see you, Ollie. You were you were undressing it with your eyes. Yeah, I had the honour of testing it, and it's you are uh, you are actually something. you want to be engaged to that flymo, don't you? I love the flymo. Loves the flymo. It's definitely the way forward. Uh, we've got another film here because we we have been having fun with this all week. For goodness' sake, it's absolutely brilliant. I do recommend that you get one. And in fact, um, I know. Look at this. Look, look. There it goes. It's a bit like um, you're probably all too oh, uh, too young to remember this, but do you remember Vision On? the way that the uh, mad professor used to go all over. And that is what you do. You just wake up in the morning, press a button, and uh, um, giving yourself far more time to drink gin and tonic, which is a much more civilised way of doing it. That's actually Flymo Cam. See? Look at it. Not to be confused with Sam Cam, who's obviously married to our Prime Minister. So now, uh, yeah. Carmel, what are people saying? That is going to help that lady who... Uh Emailed in about Listen, her lawnmower. And, the and you're lady. a certain age, yeah. as you say. Look, all your lawn mowing needs. And what's nice is you can put a tray on it with some gin. And, you know, <laughs> well, don't laugh. Actually, in the Ottoman Empire, they used to have giant tortoises and put lanterns on the back. I think it was a really nice idea. Maybe some Turkish delight. We've got a telephone call. We We've do. got the lovely Ellie. Hello. 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 Far too excited. <laughs> what can we do for you? Hello, we moved into um, a 70s bungalow a little while ago and we've been doing it up slowly. Uh, but it has a low ceiling in the living room. Ah. In the dining room. And we're wondering whether you would recommend re skinning that and painting it white or a textured paper. Gosh. It feel a bit higher. That's a true. Oh, look, you've even sent us a little bit of a photograph there. I was just. Um, uh, <laughs> either that or you were some kind of quite spooky spiritualist. Because uh, I actually saw a very clear vision of your um, kitchen dining room going on there. I, I was, I was, I was, I was also rather weirdly morphing into your kitchen. I, it's as if I was there. I mean, obviously, I mean, my advice for you, because one of the big problems when you've got a low but big ceiling like that, is that it can actually be a little bit intimidating. And there's a message. I love the red um, cupboards there. Um, my my advice would be to actually do an exact replica of the Sistine Chapel on that, because uh, that would really increase the space and and look great. But if that's probably a little bit above your skill level. I'd watch mm -hmm. textured paper. I think that was one of those sort of knee-jerk things that happened into the, in the 70s because people were worried that there would be... Um, uh, little, oh, look at your fireplace, my goodness me. Um, have you got horse prices, Ellie? <laughs> no, but I'm sure there'll be some left in the attic. I'm sure the there will be, and that's one, that's one carpet. I'm, I'm, in fact, I might bring that out as the next range. Um, but no, what you've got to do, uh, the texture is actually a good idea on a ceiling. If it's low, and if it goes on forever, that as yeah. a flat white area can be a little bit too intimidating. But don't use textured wallpaper because it does look a little bit outdated. I would use something like tongue and groove. So I would actually put wood on your ceiling, but paint it white. That'll give it a really nice kind of quite um, ship lappy, almost seasidey feel, um, which will make it feel much more informal. Where, where is your um, lovely 70s bungalow? Just so we can all come around and have a look. <laughs> can all come round. It's in Lancashire. So are you home. in the middle of the country or are you in the middle of a town? Um, it's just on the outskirts of a town. Yeah, because I think, for goodness sake, Ellie, you've got to change that before that gets listed. <laughs> you know, that's such a perfect evocation of all that went wrong in the 70s. Um, I think you've got to do something about that as quickly as possible. In fact, I tell you what I am going to do, Ellie, because I like you so much. You are our, you are our star prize. 100%. And I'm going to swap you the horse brushes you find in your attic for that lovely kitchen cleaner. You know, the steam, steam cleaner. Don't you think? Oh, that's Don't you lovely. Think? Absolutely. Thank you. She has to have the steam cleaner. But I've got to have your horse brasses. You promise. <laughs> but no, definitely. Deal. Get, uh, uh, talk to a local builder about putting tongue and groove on the ceiling and then white painting it. 
and you will love it. Oh, so how are we doing with Facebook? We are getting so many in. Uh, Lynette Ferber says, I would love one of those fabulous steam cleaners. Ours has just been one. Uh, well, Fiona. Littlewoods.com, Lynette. Yep, Duh. Get it there. Uh, she <laughs> said she for. just noticed the hanging wicker chair and I need it. Such beautiful things. Littlewoods.com. I, uh, I think she's being rather distracted by what's in it. I do you think so? No, not you. My cushion. <laughs> Look, isn't that lovely? And that's available at littlewoods.com as well. It's very comfortable yeah. too. And uh, Lucy says, I need the Flymo in Hoover form. That's a good idea, isn't it? Uh, it does. Get apparently carpets. it does exist in Hoover form. Although you've got to watch out that you don't get them confused and you find that you've got the lawn mower doing your bedroom carpet. Because uh, that good. could be, well, I don't know. That's You'd end up with some rather strange stripes, I think. Some rather strange right. wear, wear marks. Um, but please keep your comments coming in. And it has been absolutely delightful to speak to you. Um, we've got part four coming up, which, I, to be honest, we haven't rehearsed it. Lord knows what's going to happen. I think it's going to be a kind of a water-based panto by the sound of it. So do whatever you do. Keep watching. Remember to li like us. You see, I nearly said lick us. Remember to keep in touch. We will be announcing the winner of the £1,000 Little Words giveaway after the break. Please don't go anywhere other than here. See you in a minute. Hey, throw underwear, throw underwear. <laughs>